Creative multilingualism is about different creative forms that languages can be used through, adapted and translated. And that's what we try to do with this Russian play through the genre of hip-hop theatre. She was raised in a small town on the outskirts of London. The Russian play Oxygen was adapted by two fine artists, Stanza Divan and Lady Sanity. What an either side, you should both be Oxygen. Together with Noah Berkstead Breen. It was a dialogue and then it was a workshop format where largely Noah and the two artists worked together. The end result was the preview tonight. Now, of course, we can point the finger and say that he's to blame after all. Thou I'd always had the feeling it was not possible to recreate this play in the UK. A linguistic translation and a cultural adaptation turning a new Russian play into hip-hop theatre. The with scenes where the hip-hop artists are describing their lives. But when I was growing up, I was usually around my nan's house. But I suddenly had the feeling this is how we could do it. Sometimes I wish that he would wait before we ask because the act of his performance only makes the scenes all worse. We really had to dive into the language of the text and really think about theatre because it's a lot different to reading a script to how it will be performed. Raised in a broken home in a gritty council estate in West London. So I watched the film that's available, read the script and did some annotations. One of the most important parts was sitting down with Noah and actually having an interview about our, our lives, which is sort of interwoven with the actual story. I found a lot of themes that uh, translated to what's happened in modern day society. So it is amazing the amount of similarities that we found. She captured it and put it on the social feet. It just immediately interested me. There's a mix between hip hop and a Russian play and Russian culture. I was like, I've got to see that. At the beginning, I couldn't connect. Like, why am I listening to uh, urban black British from Birmingham talking about Russia? And then of course, as they went through it, I said, well, that's completely genius because they found an amazing way to hip hop to relate experience of what Russia was in the 2000s. And the more they were talking about it, they completely connect to it. So it's a great cultural adaptation. I loved how they used Russian influences in, in, in the refrain, using balalaika, for example, in the sampling, but also the tonality, how they both performed in response to what I know of Russian literature was that there was a really interesting synergy as well. You go theatre a lot or whether you go to hip-hop gigs, I feel like regardless of which one, which side that you sit on, the message underneath will resonate with you.